Hey, Nick here with this week's Indiemon Unplaying, a Nintendo exclusive today as I'm playing Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, available on the Wii U and 3DS for $9.99. For this video, I played it on the Wii U. In the future where cyborg cops are the norm and all escaped convicts are sexy looking, justice needs to be served. I want to say Mighty Switch Force takes place in a sexy future. I mean, the look is futuristic while the characters are just pretty looking. I mean, even the robot that picks you up at the end is handsome. Alright, we're getting off track now. Mighty Switch Force has you playing as a cyborg police officer where the goal is to capture five escaped convicts. Each level requires you to capture all five before the robot picks you up and flies you to safety. You're basically in control of everything. By that I mean you have control over the many blocks throughout Mighty Switch Force. The most normal block is one that you can make invisible by hitting the A button. Be careful because when you make a block go invisible, it can make blocks already invisible come to life. This can be tricky because if you're in the path of an invisible block becoming alive, this can kill you. But this can be used as an advantage since it also kills enemies. There's different types of blocks throughout Mighty Switch Force that keep the game interesting as you capture convicts. I had a good time with Mighty Switch Force. I think the level design is very well done, and the graphics are super clear in HD. I also like the ability to play Mighty Switch Force on the Wii U gamepad, and not getting the TV involved. You can switch to the TV or gamepad with a touch of a button. It'll take you around 3 hours to beat Mighty Switch Force, but when you complete the game there are 5 bonus levels you unlock. There's also par times you can go after if you want some more gameplay. The game does well as something you can take your time with, or try to rush to the end. While the game isn't super original, it still masters everything in its path. The game is fun to run around in while trying to figure out where and how to get the next convict. Nintendo fans should take pride that such an indie exclusive can bring lots of fun to the systems. Thanks for watching this video, please like, subscribe, and check out last week's Indiemon if you haven't already.